hypomagnesemia, low magnesium. Magnesium is one of the most common essential minerals in your body. It's stored primarily in the bones of your body. A very small amount of magnesium circulates in your bloodstream. Magnesium is involved in over 300 metabolic reactions in your body. These reactions affect a number of very important body processes, including protein synthesis, cellular energy production and storage, cell stabilization, DNA synthesis, nerve signal transmission, bone metabolism, heart function, signal transmission between muscles and nerves, glucose and insulin metabolism, blood pressure, Symptoms of low magnesium. Early signs of low magnesium include nausea, vomiting, weakness, decreased appetite. As magnesium deficiency worsens, symptoms may include numbness, tingling sensation, muscle cramps, seizures, muscle spasticity, personality changes. Abnormal heart rhythms. Causes of low magnesium. Low magnesium is usually due to decreased absorption of magnesium in the intestines or increased excretion of magnesium in the urine. Low magnesium levels in otherwise healthy people are rare. This is because magnesium levels are largely controlled by the kidneys. The kidneys increase or decrease the excretion, waste, of magnesium depending on the body's needs. Consistently low dietary magnesium intake, excessive loss of magnesium, or the presence of other chronic diseases can lead to hypomagnesemia. Hypomagnesemia is also more common in people who are hospitalized. This may be due to their illness, having certain surgeries, or taking certain types of medications. Very low magnesium levels have been associated with poorer outcomes in seriously ill, hospitalized patients. Conditions that increase the risk of magnesium deficiency include gastrointestinal, GI, disease, advanced age, type 2 diabetes, use of loop diuretics, such as Lasix, treatment with certain chemotherapies, and alcohol dependence. GI diseases Celiac disease, Crohn's disease, and chronic diarrhea may interfere with magnesium absorption or result in increased magnesium loss. Type 2 diabetes. Higher blood glucose levels can cause the kidneys to produce more urine. This also causes increased magnesium loss. Alcohol dependence. Alcoholism can lead to poor dietary intake of magnesium, increased urination and fatty stools, liver disease, vomiting, kidney damage, pancreatitis. Other complications. All of these conditions have the potential to cause hypomagnesemia. Older adults. Intestinal absorption of magnesium tends to decrease with age. Urinary excretion of magnesium tends to increase with age. Older adults often eat less magnesium rich foods. They're also more likely to take medications that can affect magnesium, such as diuretics. These factors can lead to hypomagnesemia in older adults. Use of diuretics. Use of loop diuretics, such as Lasix, can sometimes cause loss of electrolytes such as potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Diagnosing low magnesium. Your doctor will diagnose hypomagnesemia based on a physical exam, symptoms, medical history, and a blood test. A blood magnesium level doesn't tell you how much magnesium your body has stored in your bones and muscle tissue. But it's still helpful in showing whether you have hypomagnesemia. Your doctor will probably also check your blood calcium and potassium levels. A normal serum, blood, magnesium level is 1.8 to 2.2 mg per deciliter, mg dl. A serum magnesium level below 1.8 mg per deciliter is considered low. A magnesium level below 1.25 mg per deciliter is considered very severe hypomagnesemia. Treatment of low magnesium. Hypomagnesemia is usually treated with oral magnesium supplements and increased dietary magnesium intake. 
it is estimated that 2% of the general population has hypomagnesemia. This percentage is much higher in hospitalized patients. Studies estimate that nearly half of all Americans, and 70 to 80% of those over age 70, don't get their recommended daily allowance of magnesium. Unless your doctor tells you otherwise, it is best to get your magnesium from food. Examples of magnesium-rich foods include spinach, almonds, cashews, peanuts, whole grain cereals, soy milk, black beans, whole grain bread, avocado, banana, halibut, salmon, baked potato with skin. If your hypomagnesemia is severe and includes symptoms such as seizures, you may be given magnesium intravenously or by infusion. Complications of low magnesium If hypomagnesemia and its underlying cause are not treated, severely low magnesium levels can develop. Severe hypomagnesemia can cause life-threatening complications, such as seizures, cardiac arrhythmias, abnormal heart rhythms, coronary artery vasospasm, sudden death. Outlook for low magnesium. Hypomagnesemia can be caused by a variety of underlying conditions. It can be treated very effectively with oral or intravenous magnesium. It's important to eat a balanced diet to make sure you get enough magnesium. If you have conditions such as Crohn's disease or diabetes, or if you take diuretic medications, work with your doctor to make sure you don't develop low magnesium levels. If you have symptoms of low magnesium, it's important to see your doctor to prevent complications.